This is Dylan Toe from Everlook Photography. Welcome to another two minute tutorial. Today we're going to introduce to you the concept of blend if using uh, this scene from Kangaroo Island. So I shot a short exposure of myself standing on the rock and I wanted to blend it in with a longer exposure taken with an ND filter. Now clearly I can't stand still like a statue for three minutes, which is this exposure was. So uh, I'm gonna blend it in, uh, control all, Control C, paste it as a separate layer on top. Um, now you can do this in several ways, including luminosity masks or manually masking it. But uh, the concept of blend if it would make this very easy, particularly because I'm very dark here. So in order to bring blend if up, right click, blending options, and this is the blend if mask here. Uh, bl uh, blend if panel here. So basically you want this layer to be blended into the long exposure layer if uh, all the pixels are very black. So in other words you don't want any of the brights which is along this scale here. So remove all the brights and there we go. I'm blended in well. Now if you look very closely you can see it looks quite pixelated because that's a very sharp demarcation. So if you use Alt and drag it out, it just smooths it out a little bit and now the transitions are all nice and smooth. Click OK and there you have it. Now if you want to tidy that up further, uh, bring up a layer mask, um, invert it for black and then just paint in with a white brush this particular area here so that uh, the blacks from other parts of the image, for instance in the rock and so forth, are not included from your blend if command and that is a very simple utility of using blend if uh, which can use in combination to uh, with luminosity mask